Hey guys, it's James here. I have been looking forward to making this video since last year, so I'm super excited about this. Last month, my channel finally got approved to join the YouTube Partner Program and has been monetized. I'm just so happy guys. The wait was brutal, but all my hard work paid off. In this video, I want to share with you my whole process of getting monetized as a music production channel because I know some of you are interested in earning some money from YouTube. So I hope this video can be helpful to you. If you want to learn about how to grow your channel from zero to 1000 subscribers as a musician, producer, or audio engineer, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon because in a future video, I'll be talking about strategies to get your channel monetized as soon as possible. If you want to start a YouTube channel or just got started, let me know in the comments what your channel is about and what your goal is this year for your channel. I would love to know. In case you didn't already know, in order to get monetized on YouTube, you'll need to have 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours in the last year. So if you have a viral video from two years ago that nobody watches anymore, all those watch hours generated from two years ago will not count. Now you might ask, how do I know how many watch hours I have? Well, don't worry. YouTube actually makes it really easy for you to check that. All you have to do is go to your YouTube studio and click the monetization tab on the left column. In here, you'll see two gauges telling you where you are in terms of meeting the requirements. I think it only updates once a day. For me, it was usually around 3 a.m. EST, so don't expect it to change a few hours after you upload a video. It took me about seven months to get monetized. I started taking YouTube seriously and regularly uploading videos since June 2020, and I met the 1,000 subscribers threshold in September. But it wasn't until January 18th this year that I met the 4,000 watch hours requirement. Yeah. That was a tough one to achieve, but I did it guys, holy crap. If we look at my channel's watch hour history in the last 365 days, you can tell that I really started to accumulate a lot of watch hours since the first video I posted last June. And as I keep pushing out videos, I got more and more watch hours. I do want to mention that it would probably have taken me longer to meet the requirements because I didn't really start completely from scratch. Um, I did have about, I think, 500 subscribers from when I was really, uh, when I was making really bad and awkward Reaper tutorials and some other videos occasionally. But if you look at the watch hours I gained before I rebooted my channel last year, I only got 3.2K watch hours in seven years. In contrast, I got over 4,000 watch hours in the last seven months. So guys, if you want to meet this threshold, keep pumping out good videos. And again, in a future video, I'll talk about how to get 4,000 watch hours quickly. Depending on the kind of videos you make, the time it takes for a channel to meet those two requirements can vary drastically. It took a channel that blew up last year, one year and a half, just to get monetized. But now that channel is sitting at over 300,000 subscribers. So don't compare yourself to others and just focus on creating good content regularly. Everybody progresses at their own pace, just like everything else in life. Once you have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, you'll see this button appearing under the gauges to apply to the YouTube Partner Program, which is basically a fancy way of saying applying to make your channel eligible for monetization. Hooray, you did it. After you click apply, it'll tell you your channel is under review. And one of the things you need to do now is to set up your Google AdSense account, which is where you actually get paid. You don't actually get paid on YouTube. And I highly recommend setting up your AdSense account as early as possible, like today, if your goal is to try to get monetized in the future, because it'll speed up the monetization review process if you have already set it up beforehand. And also because it takes time to set it up. When you first create the account, Google will literally mail you a code via snail mail to your address to, I guess, confirm you actually live at the address you put in AdSense and that you are a real human. Ship here. Getting the mail can take a week or two or even longer if you live in rural areas. 
So guys, just get your AdSense account set up ASAP instead of waiting until you can apply to the YouTube Partner Program so you can get approved faster. After I apply for monetization, I was approved within 24 hours, which was insanely and unusually fast because I heard that some people waited for two days, some people waited for a week, and some even waited for over a month. So I guess it's just different for everybody and be patient if you don't get approved in a few days. When you do get approved though, you see this email telling you you have been approved and can monetize your videos now. This means that if you go to your YouTube studio now, you see a whole lot of happy little green dollar signs on your videos. Now, that is only the beginning. Once you have the dollar signs on your videos, you need to actually configure your ad settings because ads is the only way you can make money directly from YouTube. You'll want to go to the settings page in your YouTube studio and then go to monetization and make sure to learn about the types of ads and turn on whichever you deem appropriate. Display ads cannot be turned off. They are just like ads you see on most websites. Overlay ads are the ones that appear at the bottom of the video um, and can be dismissed by the viewer. I'm sure you are familiar with the skippable and non-skippable ads. If you want to maximize your ad revenue on YouTube, then I would recommend turning on all of them. I absolutely would not recommend checking the during video option here though, because uh, this will allow YouTube to automatically place a whole bunch of ads anywhere in the video. And that can be disastrous. I've heard people saying YouTube automatically putting like 12 mid-roll ads on a 30 minute video, which will be a terrible experience for your viewers. The best way to do mid-roll ads is to manually place them for each video. And you can do that in the monetization settings of each video. You obviously want to be careful where you put your mid-roll ads so they're not too interruptive. And you want to be careful about how many you put them in a video. For me, I usually put two uh, for a video that's around 10 to 15 minutes long, and I'll put one or two more for videos that are 20 to 30 minutes long. For my tutorial videos though, I'm a lot more careful because if people are trying to follow along to try to do something and there's suddenly an ad, that can be super annoying. That's why I try to find transitional points to put the mid-roll ads. If I can't find any good place to put them, I'll just not put any because you, the audience, are much more important. I know a lot of big YouTubers put three for every 10 minutes, so you'll have to make your own judgment on that. You should keep in mind that only videos longer than eight minutes can have mid-roll ads, which means that videos shorter than eight minutes will have much less potential to generate ad revenue compared to longer videos. So another good thing you can do starting today is to make longer videos not by meandering and rambling in your videos, but by actually including more good content in your videos. If you look at my catalog, most of my videos are over eight minutes. So I was able to put mid row ads on most of them after getting monetized. Having longer videos will also help you reach your watch hour requirement faster because no matter how long your video is, the view duration percentage will be very similar in minutes. For example, this video I made on Gojira Amsim is 15 minutes long and the view, the average view duration is 3 minutes and 46 seconds. Now let's look at this much shorter Reaper tutorial I made is 6 minutes long and the average view duration is 2 minutes and 10 seconds. So don't look at a video and be like, oh, people are watching 3 minutes of my 15 minute video. So if I make a 3 minute video, then I can put in less effort and reap the same amount of watch time. No, that's not how it works. If you publish shorter videos, you will just get proportionally less watch time in general. YouTube also likes to push longer videos now because YouTube wants people to spend as much time watching videos on their platform as possible. So make longer videos that are high quality and that will set you up for success. To wrap up this video, I want to make sure you are aware that YouTube, for most people, is a long game. You are not going to earn a lot of money from it overnight or even over a year or several years. YouTube is a marathon and most people can even make it past the subscriber and watch our requirements. The most important thing is that you enjoy making videos because if you don't, this will, this will be the most unrewarding thing ever. You might as well do something else because 
even a minimum wage job will earn you more money and probably require less effort in the first few years. But if you do enjoy making videos for your channel, then this will be a really amazing journey because you'll learn so much as you grow your channel. You'll learn more about the topics you make videos on. You'll become better at video editing. You'll become better at producing videos. You'll become better at presenting information. You'll connect with people who appreciate your content and so on. And you'll eventually, hopefully, start making money from it and even start to make a living from it. So that's it for this video. Give it a like if you find it informative. Be sure to subscribe because I'll be talking more about making money on YouTube in the future. I'll definitely make a video when I receive my first paycheck from YouTube, which I think should be the next month. And of course, there will be more awesome music production content coming as usual, duh. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.